What a wonderful day once again, my dear friends. For today, I would like to share this topic on how to preserve nutrients in fruits and vegetables. Food preparation techniques such as peeling, chopping, and cooking make an impact on the nutritional value of fruits and vegetables. We have to follow these steps to preserve nutrients. Press is best. Frozen is next. Press rye produce in season with virtually no cooking required will usually be highest in nutrients. So data indicates that freezing produce immediately after harvesting retains 95 to 100% of most vitamins and minerals with the exception of vitamin Z which diminishes by about 30% in frozen produce. Be water wise. U.S. data shows that up to 50% of vitamin Z, vitamin, vitamin B6, and folate content in food can be lost to the water. It's cooked in. In order to retain water-soluble nutrients, use cooking methods like steaming or stir frying that use less water, reduce water used in steaming and boiling, and raise cooking water in soups or sauces to capture escape nutrients. Cut cooking times. As a rule of thumb, the longer foods are exposed to heat, the more nutrients are lost. To reduce cooking times, cover the pot to retain heat and avoid evaporation. Place vegetables in already boiling water. And learn to enjoy vegetables with a crunchier texture. Make friends with your microwave. Since it cuts cooking time and water use, the microwave is a nutrient-friendly kitchen appliance. A 2009 study published in the Journal of Food Science found microwaving preserved higher antioxidant activity in a majority of 20 vegetables studied compared to any other cooking method. Chop list. Chopping foods into smaller pieces increases the surface area exposed to light, heat, and water. Three factors that degrade nutrients. One exception is garlic and others in the allium family like onions, leeks, and shallots. Chopping these foods and allowing them to sit for 10 minutes before cooking increases their active components. Preserve the peel. Keeping peels on foods like potatoes, yams, and carrots preserves more nutrients that tend to concentrate just near the surface. In place of peeling, offer a good vegetable brush and scrub vegetables thoroughly. Use it all. Next time you're getting ready to throw away those bits or carrot tops, think again. Many vegetables are entirely edible and rich in nutrients, so using the entire plant from root to stem is a sure way to add nutrients to your day. Keep it cool. Nutrient loss in many fruits and vegetables can be decreased with cooler temperatures, high humidity, and less air contact. Store foods in airtight containers in the fridge. Cooking helps sometimes. Not all vegetables need to be eaten raw. In fact, cooking methods such as baking, microwaving, and stir frying can increase the antioxidant activity of many vegetables, such as celery, carrots, and green beans, according to a 2009 journal a food science study. 
in summary, no matter how we slice these fruits and vegetables, chop them, cook them, or not, simply eating more produce may be the best way to optimize nutrient intake. Nutrient synergy and how the total sum of nutrients in a food interact with each other and respond to cooking methods. It helps explain why using a variety of cooking techniques and ingredients may be the best policy for optimizing the nutrient quality of your produce. Thank you very much and see you in my next vlog. Hi! Thank you for watching my blog. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and click the notification below. For more updates and for more upcoming videos, see me in my next blog. God bless you all!